Ardmore, Oklahoma. Ardmore is a business, cultural, and tourism city and in the county seat of Carter County, Oklahoma, United States. As of the 2010 census, the city had a population of 24,283, with an estimated population of 24,950 in 2013. The Ardmore Micropolitan Statistical Area had an estimated population of 48,491 in 2013. Ardmore is from both Oklahoma City and Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas, at the junction of Interstate 35 and U.S. Highway 70, and is generally considered the hub of the 10-county region of south-central Oklahoma, also known by state tourism pamphlets as Arbuckle Country and Lake and Trail Country. Ardmore is situated about south of the Arbuckle Mountains and is located at the eastern margin of the Hilton Basin, one of the most oil-rich regions of the United States. Ardmore was named after the affluent Philadelphia suburb and historic Pennsylvania main line stop of Ardmore, Pennsylvania, which was named after Ardmore in County Waterford, Ireland, by the Pennsylvania Railroad in 1873. The name Ardmore is Irish for high grounds or hills. It is also a part of the Texoma region. Ardmore, Indian Territory, began with a plowed ditch for a main street in the summer of 1887 in Pickens County. Chickasaw Nation. It owes much of its existence to the construction of the Santa Fe Railroad through the area during that time. It grew, as most frontier towns grew, over the years into a trading outpost for the region. In 1894, notorious outlaw William M. Dalton was gunned down by a posse as he tried to flee from his home in Ardmore. A large fire in 1895 destroyed much of the fledgling town, which forced residents to rebuild nearly the entire town. In the early 1900s, Ardmore became well known for its abundance of cotton growing fields and eventually became known as the world's largest inland cotton port. After the fields were stripped of their fertility, however, the city found itself positioned next to one of the largest oil fields ever produced in Oklahoma, the Hilton Oil Field. After its discovery in 1913, entrepreneurs and wildcatters flooded the area, and Carter County quickly became the largest oil producing county in Oklahoma, and has remained so ever since. Ardmore has remained an energy center for the region ever since, with the region's natural wealth giving birth to such energy giants as Halliburton and the Noble Energy Companies, among others. Ardmore also learned the perils of being energy rich with the Atana III disaster in 1915, when a railroad car containing casing gas exploded, killing 45 people and destroying much of downtown, including areas rebuilt after the 1895 fire. The disaster, which made national news, gave residents the resolve to establish the city's first fire department to ensure that such events would not recur in the future. The city has not experienced any major setbacks since the 1915 fire, save a 1995 tornado that nearly destroyed the Uniroyal Goodrich now Michelin, tire plant in West Ardmore. Despite a shift at the plant working at the time, miraculously no one was killed as the tornado ripped through Theria, due to the public being alerted by area news and tornado sirens. On April 22, 1966, Ardmore was the site of the worst plane crash in Oklahoma history, which killed 83 people. Ardmore became nationally famous in 2003 when 52 Democratic members of the Texas House of Representatives, known as the Killer D's, left Texas for Ardmore to deny the Republican-controlled House a quorum when Republicans attempted to pass a redistricting plan for U.S. congressional districts. Redistricting of congressional seats is traditionally done following the decennial U.S. Census, the 2003 plan, which had been engineered by U.S. Representative Tom DeLay, Republican Texas, would have been an unprecedented second redistricting in the same decade, and was promoted as a way to increase Republican electoral success. By leading the state to stay in an Oklahoma hotel, Democrats temporarily delayed passage of the redistricting plan the Republican-controlled House. Republicans eventually succeeded at the re-redistricting, although in 2006, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that new borders of the 25th Congressional District, a long thin chain of counties from Austin to Mexico, dubbed the Fajita Strip, was in violation of the Voting Rights Act of 1965, since it divided up predominantly Hispanic areas into multiple districts, and a U.S. district judge ordered new boundaries favorable to incumbent Democrats Ciro Rodriguez and Lloyd Doggett to be drawn. Ardmore is located in southeastern Carter County at 34.181240, minus 97.129363. It is bordered to the west by the city of Lone Grove and to the east by the town of Dixon. By Interstate 35, which passes through the west side of Ardmore, Oklahoma City is to the north, while Fort Worth, Texas, is to the south.
According to the United States Census Bureau, Ardmore has a total area of, of which is land and, or 3.67%, is water. Ardmore is located about south of the Arbuckle Mountains, an ancient, eroded range spanning some across southern Oklahoma. The geology is highly variegated within the area, with uplifted and folded ridges visible within the shoreline of some of the lakes surrounding Ardmore. The city of Ardmore has no intrasity streams or rivers, but is part of the Washita and Red River watersheds, with two tributaries, Caddo and Hickory Creeks, flanking the broad, low area in which Ardmore is situated. Ardmore is also north of Lake Murray an impoundment of the two arms of Anadarky Creek, which eventually flows into the western reaches of Lake Texoma. As of the census of 2010, there were 24,283 people residing in the city. The population density was 482.7 people per square mile, 186.4 km. There were 10,926 housing units at an average density of 222.4 per square mile, 85.9 km. The racial makeup of the city was 73.02% white, 11.27% African American, 8.78% Native American, 0.99% Asian, 0.02% Pacific Islander, 1.55% from other races, and 4.37% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 3.70% of the population. There were 9,646 households out of which 30.0% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 47.4% were married couples living together, 31.2% had a female householder with no husband present, and 34.6% were non-families. 14.7% of all households were made up of individuals and 14.7% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.36 and the average family size was 2.95. In the city, the population was spread out with 25.1% under the age of 18, 8.1% from 18 to 24, 25.8% from 25 to 44, 22.2% from 45 to 64, and 18.8% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 39 years. For every 100 females, there were 110.6 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 108.6 males. The median income for a household in the city was $28,046, and the median income for a family was $37,758. Males had a median income of $28,685 versus $23,070 for females. The per capita income for the city was $16,502. About 13.6% of families and 18.3% of the population were below the poverty line, including 24.9% of those under age 18 and 12.0% of those age 65 or over. Ardmore is the principal center of trade for a 10-county region in south-central Oklahoma, with a retail pull factor of 1.7 to 1.9. Ardmore's major employers are Michelin North America with 1,900 employees, and Mercy Memorial Health Center, with 900 employees. Several hundred employees work for regional distribution centers for Best Buy, Dollar Tree, Marietta, and Dollar General stores, among others. Until early 2009, Ardmore was also home to a large regional distribution center for the now defunct retail electronics chain Circuit City and was also home to a 1 800 Flowers Call Center. In 2010, Ardmore lost another technology company, Imtech which was purchased by 3M and moved away to California. The Valero Refinery in Northeast Ardmore employs some 250 area residents. Ardmore is also home to the Samuel Roberts Noble Foundation, among the nation's 50 largest private foundations, primarily engaged in agricultural bioresearch activities. In 2001, East Jordan Iron Works opened a foundry located at the Ardmore Industrial Air Park. Being home to many pioneers in the dawn of the American oil industry, Ardmore has been blessed with riches far beyond most cities of its size, as well as the colorful past that often accompanies such instant wealth. The wealth has been channeled into many philanthropical endeavors, as well as reinvested into the area in various art and infrastructure endowments. Amenities include the Ardmore Masonic Lodge is one of the oldest civic organizations in Ardmore. Ardmore is home to the University Center of Southern Oklahoma, a consortium model system of higher education, 
which offers courses and degrees to the local population from four participating institutions of higher education, Murray State College, Southeastern Oklahoma State University, East Central University and Oklahoma State University, from the Oklahoma City campus. Ardmore City Schools, Plainview Public Schools, and the Ardmore Christian School operate public schools in Ardmore. Ardmore Oak Hall Episcopal School is one of only three Episcopal diocesan schools in the state of Oklahoma. Southern Tech, in response to increasing demands, recently built a state-of-the-art engineering technology building to house programs which directly address the employment needs of manufacturing-related companies. The 3D CNC machining program provides training designed to bring a student to an advanced level of understanding in the field of manufacturing processes currently used in both automated and non-automated industries. Mechatronics prepares students to become automated systems technicians, covering robotics and fundamentals of electricity, electronics, programmable logic controllers, hydraulics, and pneumatics. Computer aided drafting, also located in the Engineering Technology Building, has been producing graduates since 1968 and the need for skills in computer aided design, CAD. Is still on the rise today. Southern Tech offers a wide variety of additional courses designed for both high school and adult students seeking to develop a career or technical skills. New and exciting programs began in pre engineering and heavy equipment operation. Oklahoma University offers dental hygiene at the Southern Tech campus, and adult students may also enroll in the nationally certified practical nursing program. The biotechnology program at Southern Tech provides a realistic, hands-on opportunity to learn and experience biotechnology techniques and applications in human health, agriculture, environmental science, forensics and pharmaceutical production. There are many other training programs offered at Southern Tech in the automotive industry, health, human services, construction trades and the arts, and all programs end with qualified students leaving with a national or board certification leading to higher wage earning opportunities for students and a skilled workforce for businesses. Southern Tech also offers short-term training classes through the Corporate and Career Development Department. There is a vast array of courses provided to meet the needs of the district. Classes are offered at three locations as well as online. Corporate clients receive numerous safety and industry-specific training options and can also be served through customized training. The highly qualified instructors can teach on location or on campus and will work hard to fulfill the needs of the business. More information regarding the school and its offerings can be found at www.sotech.edu. AM FM Interstate 35 is passes through the western side of Ardmore as it traverses the United States from Duluth, Minnesota, to Laredo, Texas. Ardmore has four exits off I-35. Ardmore is also home to the junction of US-70 and US-77, SH-142, and SH-199. Ardmore is connected to Lake Murray via State Highway 77S. Ardmore has two general aviation airports, Ardmore Downtown Executive Airport and Ardmore Municipal Airport. The nearest scheduled air service occurs at Will Rogers World Airport in Oklahoma City and Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, north and south of Ardmore, respectively. Ardmore is linked by rail with the DFW Airport via the Heartland Flyer to Trinity Railway Express connection. Ardmore has one principal rail line, that being one of the Burlington Northern Santa Fe main lines running from Fort Worth, Texas to Oklahoma City, also connecting with Kansas City and Chicago formerly part of the Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe Rail Network before the merger with Burlington Northern. The line dates back to 1887, and the first train arrived on July 28 in that year. The company has multiple parallel tracks, 5-plus, running through Central Ardmore MP450.5, added concomitantly with the rise of the trading status of the city and region throughout the early 1900s. There is also a lightly used transverse rail spur from the BNSF line to the Michel Entire plant in West Ardmore, mainly intended for the transport of raw materials to the factory. The historic Santa Fe Depot in downtown Ardmore is also a stop on Amtrak's Heartland Flyer train route, with daily service to and from Oklahoma City and Fort Worth. Ardmore also has a scheduled stop on the Greyhound-Jefferson bus line system. Southern Oklahoma Rural Transit System, SORTS, provides transit services for the public in Ardmore and the surrounding areas. In the early 20th century, Ardmore had a fairly extensive traction, streetcar-slash-interurban, railway system, franchised in February 1905, that linked outlying areas, such as the Dornick Hills Country Club, 
to the Central Business District. The main part of the streetcar line originally ran down the center lane of Main Street. Service ended in 1922. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.